Hey folks, Paul here, and I have a question for you lot. Now, as some of you may know, I've been streaming quite a lot recently, and one of the games I've been streaming has been Skyrim. I've modded the game out completely, so nearly every aspect of the game has changed. There's a lot more content and so on. And I've been having fun developing characters and trying to roleplay them out on the stream. Now a lot of people have been enjoying this and quite a few of you have asked can I make a YouTube series? Now it's not really ideal for me to make a YouTube series out of the footage I do on Twitch because it's lower quality because I'm not a Twitch partner. But I'm more than happy to start a, Twi to start a YouTube series on Skyrim. And this leads me to my question. If I was to do a series on YouTube of Skyrim modded Skyrim, what would you like to see? Now there's a couple of things I can do. I can, for example, play through the story as per normal, become the Dragonborn and do all the quests and you know just keep going. Because I mean I haven't actually finished Skyrim so I, I still have no clue how it ends. And yeah, so that's all new to me so my action reactions would be genuine. And okay, so the other option is I make a character. A character with a bit of a backstory and I'll roleplay him. I'll try and give him like goals and stuff to fulfill. You lot could give me goals to fulfill. For example, this character, now this was heavily inspired by Breaking Bad. It's pretty, it's been uh, quite humorous for me and uh, it's been going quite well. So this is my character Walter, as you can see. Kind of familiar. Now, I've got a few mods that allow me to do a couple of things, such as deal skooma. Now, for those that don't know, skooma is the drug in Skyrim. And basically what I've been trying to do is have my character grow an empire around that. So one of the first things I've been focusing on was getting this farm built, which is another mod I've got. And my goal is to grow the ingredients I need here, that's why I've got workers there, they have been paid off for example. I grow everything I need to here, I will then go manufacture the skooma. I will then go out to people and sell it to them. And from there I'll make money and I'll grow and I'll make more safe houses and more distribution areas and all sorts. So basically there's a big sort of role play story to it. That's just one example. Another example would be, I had another character who was a necromancer and he went around, you know, he would try to become more powerful, he had an army of undead follow following him around. This was on my Twitch stream until I died. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of different things I could do. Now, one of the goals, or one of the rules I've set for myself while streaming, at least for a couple of my characters, was I had nine lives and when I say nine lives it means every time I died I was allowed to continue playing provided I went and prayed at a shrine of a new god because there's nine gods in the Elder Scrolls and once I had ran out that would be it for that character he'd be dead and done with I then went on to get another mod which allowed me to sort of have a chance a fighting chance of surviving after being like taken down to 0% health where a random event could happen, I'd be dumped in the world, I could have been robbed and so on, there's a lot of different options here. Now, what I would like from you lot is some ideas on what I could do for a character if you wanted me to do a Skyrim series. Now I mean I originally started a Skyrim series, it was vanilla, I played as Kane, who was this dark elf but I never finished it unfortunately, but I would be more than happy to focus on the character here and do it properly. Now you could you could suggest rules and it would help me a lot if you lot could sort of... Often come down to build. Uh, this you is my uh, bodyguard like Gore by the way, I've got to mention that. He likes to no talk a lot and interrupt me when I'm trying to talk in. Alright, that's, that's nice. Sit down, be quiet Gore. So as I was saying, if you lot could make some rules for me to follow, for instance, I could only have one life, so if I die that's the end of the character and I'd have to make a new character. Now I could do that in my series where I'd keep dying, where I could die, I'd make a brand new character with a different backstory, I could do that. The only problem is, is that I can't, I die fairly easily in Skyrim, so this would mean 
you wouldn't see much apart from the first few levels, which isn't very interesting for a series. It's okay on the stream, but not for YouTube. So the alternative would be we have a character, maybe he doesn't use magic, maybe he can't use magic, so I just avoid all magic as much as possible. Maybe he's a coward, maybe he wants to run away from fights, maybe he has to have people fight for him. You know, these are all different options I could do. You gotta try and think of something that might be interesting for you lot. As far as roles go, one of the ones I've been wanting to do was make a sort of Inquisitor character. Uh, probably based on something like Warhammer, so for those that don't know, the Inquisitors would go around, root out heresy and evil, and if there was a chance, like you were a good person, you just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, they would have no qualms about silencing, uh, silencing you. They were pretty brutal, but very effective, you know, that's another type of character I could do. You know, there is a lot of stuff, if I had a goal to focus focus on to work towards it would make a series so much easier if you want I could just free roam and just stumble across from quest to quest that also works I can be a dragonborn I could just do everything it's not a problem <laughs> All right, then. but I'd like something that you lot are interested in that's my goal with this series I could become a monster hunter that's been one of my popular ones on twitch where I just became a monster hunter it was my goal to hunt down monsters join dawn guard I could become a vampire and try to grow in power. I could just be a character that wants to become rich and powerful and then I'll just utilize any means necessary. I've got all sorts of mods on here, real estate, so I could become landlords of all different, you know, towns and property. There are a lot of mods. I am working on a mod list over at Paula.com on the forums. It's a little bit incomplete at the moment, but I will get it finished. If there are any mods that you would like to see me use for a series, I can always look into them. But yeah, I'm after some feedback. What would you like to see me do in a series? I could be a jack of all trades, although a lot of people do find that uh, kind of tiring because it's you know it's a bit boring. I wouldn't mind doing a spell bla uh, a spell blade again, which is is it a spell blade? I forget the name. I'm pretty sure it's called a spell blade. Where it's basically a mix of uh, magic and sort of me melee, but uh, there is a really good uh, series, a screenshot series, a story that's going on that has a fantastic character in it, which I've been reading quite a bit of. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but if you go to reddit.com, uh, the subreddit, Spellblade, you'll find it. Excuse me, not Spellblade. Nightblade, that was it. A Nightblade was a class in the original Oblivion and it was a lot of fun to play and I could do something similar on this. But yeah, there's a lot of choices, a lot of options for you lot. I need some ideas though because otherwise I'd be stumbling around in the dark. What I'd really like from you lot is if you could come up with some ideas, some suggestions, and ideally look at what other people have suggested and if you see something you like comment on it say that you support this idea because that's going to be the easiest way to narrow down what's the most popular and then I'll go ahead and have a crack at that story now one thing I can always do for example as this character Walter here once he becomes rich once his empire is off the ground once he eliminates his competition once he's got all the wealth all the power he's known everywhere then I guess that character's complete. So I could always do another Skyrim series on YouTube after I finish my first character. For example, I could have a necromancer. Once he reaches his goal, we could call that story complete and I start another one. But as you can imagine, you'd have to replay through the same content. It just an idea, but um, yeah. I've done a lot of talking in this video, but I really wanted for you guys to understand what I was trying to do and I'd love to get some feedback because I'm really excited about doing a series on this so if anyone has any suggestions feel free share it away you can either do it on this YouTube video or go to paula.com and post on the forms anyway thank you for watching until next time